as one of the people who uh, was a designer of the, the new rules of the, no, no leg grabs below the waist, anything grabbing below the waist, do you see that they'll ever change that rule back that you can grab again? Um, you know, I think that, that what's happened now is that uh, I think that, that, that judo went like this because of the wrestling styles that were coming in. So it was very, very low. And I think that some of the most skillful fighters could grab to lift. And I think that, that they, the skillful ones were able to do it. The less skillful ones were relying on just leg picks in order to take their opponent down to the floor. And because, I think, this is my opinion, because they couldn't throw with the big techniques, the big uchimatas and the big, the big ones. So, um, and same for coaches, teaching the big techniques. They're biomechanically more difficult. And, you know, we hear it all the time, don't we? We hear people say... Um, uh, what leg pick? You know, what, we're, we're teaching leg picks or throwing, right? And leg picks and throwing, two totally different things. All right, takedowns. All right, is a takedown is to get. Do you remember we used to do it all the time for transition? And what we do is we get we go there to take them down, take them. That's not a throw, in order to transition in. But for me, much better to look for a throw, uh, just one Uchimata, from here. Okay, if it's a full overthrow, then I've got my transition, and then I'm in, all right? But that's throwing into transition, as opposed to take down into transition. And I think that this is a mentality, and I think that this is what they're trying, everybody in the IJF are trying to avoid. What, I, what we're trying to do is we're trying to Encourage coaches to teach how to throw, as opposed to looking for just the leg picks. And I think, and I was one of the ones that pushed for, or, or, or was in favor of, certain pickups, as long as it went upwards in trajectory, and, uh, and didn't go downwards. So for me, if it went downwards, then don't allow it. But if we allowed that now, all right, guarantee some people would say, well, Okay, I don't get a score for it, but I'll still do it to get them down there. So I don't think we should allow it. Some of the decisions as to whether they were a score or not, you know, were 50-50, and that wasn't good enough. So the answer to your question, which is a roundabout way of getting there, is I don't think, certainly not in the near future, that we will allow takedowns for the sake of takedowns. Or leg picks, all right, I think that... If anything came back at all, it would be in an upward trajectory in order to throw. And throw is the key word for me. Hi, this is Shadi. So as you, as you just heard, Neil Adams was talking about leg grabs. For the near future, they won't come back. However, if they were to come back, they will require an upward trajectory and actually throwing capabilities and that is very much key because when he says upward trajectory it implies control it uh, implies being aggressive and it implies being very offensive with a very good attitude so this is what judo needs and the problem with leg grabs in general at least in judo is that a lot of them unfortunately they did use them as cop outs and we will see examples so um, when you talk about upward trajectory, again, we're talking about control and skill, but sometimes they just bend over, they wait for a leg to extend and then just grip the ankle and then try to go to the ground as you, as you just saw. And today this would not, for example, score, but in the past they gave a lot of tiny scores and people would, were just encouraged to stall after this. Here's another great example. This happened in the beginning of the fight just grips the ankle again today this would not score and then just stalls till the end and wins uh, a medal or whatever so yes this behavior should not be encouraged and you should encourage skill and the progression of judo and judo that is all about control 
big throws and that is very much offensive and picturesque and not using techniques as cop out so let's talk about upward trajectory so you are picking up the leg going much uh, high with your opponent and then you have control with your grips and you cannot do that when you're in a weak position or you are a weak judoka against someone with good skill it requires tremendous skill tremendous control and tremendous offensive spirit and very good attitude and it's just beautiful to watch because just bending over waiting for someone to give you their ankle so you can just go down with it it's it's very petty and and very pathetic in a sport or art like judo to be honest the goal is not the ground like jiu-jitsu the goal is to control and throw and be very decisive and then if it did not work then you have the option to finish uh, on the ground again this is not jiu-jitsu i know people would say that why not bring leg grabs back and give them no score but uh, it's a great way to engage on the ground I used to think that's a good idea, but then again, if you think about it, it will encourage a lot of bad behavior. For example, some guy who does not have good judo or very mediocre or even terrible judo, they will, I'm not talking about the professionals, I'm talking about people going out to compete. They will just bend over, wait for that opportunity, grab some ankle or pants, go to the ground, and then maybe expect to have better newaza, while the other guy will just turtle, and the referee will stop it because it won't go anywhere and then it's an endless cycle and you are just encouraging bad behavior so no anything that downward trajectory and no lift with it like this one for example this one had great lift so if it doesn't have lift it should be penalized because again you want to encourage people to hone their skills hone their gripping hone a very good posture like the uh, founder intended and encourage a good mentality we work hard to get better not for cop outs and run away from a better fighter that's like the clincher in boxing or um, the judo guy who started jiu-jitsu and throws and then disengages from the ground and collects two points and stalls nobody wants that in any discipline expression is there for a reason and we put rules to encourage good behavior and certain expression but also hone skills it's not to just run away so another one with good upward trajectory is sukuinage or teguruma and especially when it comes to countering because you can control someone they are attacking you and then hoisting them up and then slamming them down and that's very good for example here he lets go of the sleeve grabs the leg because he is taller he can scoop it up and then goes slams him down and that's a very good counter because if you have a weak grip you have weak uchimata or weak osotogari you will be punished and that's important because it will also push you to get better so look how a dominant that throw used to be and just how sublime used to be and it should come back because it's an upward trajectory now let's talk about shooting because shooting is also another problem here you see Kate Howie she shoots but it is in an upward trajectory and notice how she lands in a very dominant position now that is great however the problem is the following you have people who just run away grab pants or whatever tissue and just run and push with their head and very little control and then the other guy will just turn away and drops now this is not what you want to encourage and i'll get to you how you can shoot in my opinion so this is five-time olympic medalist by the way she was actually good at this technique but she never used it as a cop out and let me show you something terrible now this one here this man here who actually uh, went to jail recently for manslaughtering his best friend and all the Mongolians I know, they tell me they are now embarrassed by him and what he did. He used to be a great champion. So look at him, avoiding the grips, only wants to shoot and then uh, does not want to engage in any grips, goes for false attacks. 
the the referee i don't know why he did not penalize him again running away running away and does not want to do anything except for try to shoot or false attacks if he cannot break any grips like here for example and then finally he just grips pants and then runs and puts suzuki on his butt and he was awarded an ipon for some reason and he went on to be olympic champion it's again this I, if the IJF wants to ban this uh, because of this, I agree. Because this is someone that does not want to engage, like a clincher in boxing, and who just using these techniques as a cop out, trying to win, like a Machiavellian way of winning in judo. Which is, again, we are not wrestling, we are not doing judo, and we're not doing anything here. Even wrestling, in order to shoot, you have to get a very good. Uh, way of doing it because if this was wrestling he cannot grab the pants and his shot would have been useless so this idea that we're afraid of wrestlers is just not true because you can't just put on a jacket and be a good judoka or where are those jujitsu black belts who are going into the world circuit and uh tearing up olympic champions with their uh superior newaza there aren't any so this idea that we're afraid of x and y is just stupid so again you're encouraging skill you're encouraging building up a good judoka and with good attitude not using something as a cop-out that's that's really the the idea why this whole thing started in the first place and you have people not engaging and going for the legs now another type of leg grabs is something that's used to finish off a throw that otherwise does not really require the leg to be grabbed like this one here you use the hand to block maybe the arm or the leg from stepping over or anything and then you finish a throw like ipon seo enage or o uchigari here you see he pushes against the thigh to the back and up and creates that wheeling effect Another one is Kochi Makikomi. You can grab the thigh firmly. Again, this requires a lot of control of the sleeve, of the leg. And then you can't just you do it with the arm only. Another one is this one here. Kochi Makikomi turns around, grabs the thigh, and then throws with a ponseonage. Upward trajectory, control, skill, creativity. That's what you want. Another one here is this Kataguruma. I found it amazing because he enters like... Uh, Kochi, but uh, pushes on the thigh. It's not on the hips like Sode Tsurikomi. Um, it's um, on the lower, like the rear delts and rhomboids. And then from there, he pushes on the thigh, creates a wheel motion while controlling the sleeve and having good upright posture to lift him up. So that I found this one very interesting. So again, this whole thing comes down to skill and expression and martial arts the word art it means personal expression so if someone does not want to look like sumo or does not want to look like uh, kuresh or kurash or uh, backhold wrestling uh, it's okay i understand this idea but i don't want techniques to be deleted so other people don't use them as cop out etc so um, techniques like kibisu gaishi and kuchiki daoshi will go out the window that's true but if you can do a good sukui nage or teguruma you can do kochiki daoshi so again it's all about skill and you're not losing any but you are encouraging a very good attitude towards leg grabs shooting it should be done in golden score i do believe that however golden score should be in my opinion it should mean something and when i say it should mean something it means when something is on the line like a bronze medal or a gold medal anything else it, it's really just boring because now you have rounds one golden score that is 10 minutes and then it ends with penalties and it it lost its meaning unfortunately so it should be only for medal matches in my opinion and maybe you can shoot in the golden score because it does tend to last very long the golden score in those matches so you will have something nice and also it should be picked upwards otherwise if you're just grabbing the pants and running you should be penalized in my opinion and you're probably avoiding the gripping to be honest and two 
you're gonna have the best going for it the best of the best shooting and having these types of throws not round one uh, judokas and um, whatever so if you have anything to add please let me know down below this was Shadi and thank you for listening